talked about F. Ross yesterday being a weapon. Yeah. How just good was he today in, in some really tough oh, yeah. situations? Well, it was funny because it's like he doesn't do it until he gets his blood flowing a little bit. I guess he needed it flowing there at the end. But no, it's it's good to have that experience of maturity coming out of the pan at the end. We needed that or we don't win that game. What uh, just what was working for him in pretty much everything it looked like? Or what was he just well, he was able to drop a couple breaking balls in there. Um, especially with that last hitter. He was being aggressive with his fastball, and credit to Michigan hitters. They, they put good swings on it, got base hits. But uh, when they had the RBI situations, he was able to put his off-speed in there a little bit more effectively. When he turns to go to second on that grounder back to the box, are you a little bit nervous there? But well, we just talked about that. I, I said, you know, everybody asks us, are you disappointed at 10 and 8? Well, no, we played a great schedule. We were in a lot of tight ball games, and we said yesterday, that's going to pay off. And I, and I just made a comment about that particular play in there was I was very because that's the play you make. It's a you know it's a baseball play. He was aggressive and uh, not nervous at all. And I attribute that to really being in those situations for the last almost 20 baseball games. Just from past experience, I guess how, how hard is it to uh, you know play like a three and a half hour game on, on a Friday and then play another you know, the rest of the weekend? Well, they're they're young, but I yeah we, I felt like. I looked down at my watch and looked the same thing. I was like, oh, over three hours for this game, but that was because base runners on galore. But I think our guys will turn around and be fine. I'm not worried about the rest piece of it. It's um, you know, it's, you'll rest a lot easier because you're one. So we'll, we'll be ready. What uh, would you like about you know from Joey, especially in the first five? Well, he was battling. He did, clearly didn't have his best stuff today. His command, uh, fastball command, was not there. But you know, he's thrown the ball well his last two outings didn't get a win. I was happy for him that he got a win uh, today and maybe not having his best stuff. So good good for him. He just competed. And, and again, I tell our young guys all the time, watch the guy right there because, again, he, he didn't have his best stuff, but he still found a way to help his team win on a Friday in the Big Ten. What, uh, what, what started to fade away from in the end of the sixth inning when he started to give up the runs? I mean, it's the basketball just the ball was there. up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, flattened out a little bit. And, we, and I noticed him even fatigued earlier in the game. And, and, and some of that's you know, my fault for you know, maybe extending him a little bit. And so as I watched him, even in the early innings, I said, I'm not going to mess around with him today. If he shows any sign of fatigue, I was going to get him out early because I think the rest will be good for him. I guess away from the game, how are the guys as far as the uniforms? Were they excited to play in them? Yeah, that was my only fear today is breaking the new unis out today. I wanted us to focus on game one Michigan and not our classic looking awesome uniforms. So. <laughs> I pretty you like them? Yeah, Thumbs up. What how'd that come about? Basically where those I mean did you just We've had them on well Coach Greenspan is in charge of uh, anything young. Mm. Uniforms, music, because I'm past. I, I wouldn't <laughs> see that stuff. So Ben's been working on these for a while. He really got the idea, kind of the field of dreams look as you can see. But I, I think it turned out to be a beauty. I love it. So all credit to Coach Greenspan.